In my small brief at the small observation in Angola, when I signified my interest to be an executive committee member, I pointed out to them that the last person who was there was Mwafo Rizu in 1964. They said, let's go for election. I knew it was a trap. Because the Francophone countries will immediately vote. How can you talk to somebody? How can you campaign with somebody who does not understand your language? Are you going to use sign language? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, okay, who is your candidate? They brought the speaker of uh, Cote d'Ivoire. So I invited him aside. I said, as a speaker, I don't know what your ambitions in future are. But if you intend to come back to this position, if you contest against me, Alassana Quatana will remove you when you get back there. And he said, why? I, I clicked, I showed him the picture of the man wearing my uniform when I, when I commissioned the International Stadium. I do you, the name Nest of Champions, because you like the International Stadium. He was there along with other presidents because it was by the authority of ECOWAS. Then the then president of, uh, the chairman of ECOWAS was the president of Ghana. So I said, look at him here, look at me. We are wearing the same uniform. I sent people to Cote d'Ivoire to measure him. And he came. And so I need only a phone call to let him know that your, your speaker is insulting me. <laughs> so phone him first. And then you'll find out whether you need to contest against me for this position. <laughs>